a goal that we have set to cover our expenses as we fire up this operation. And of course, as everybody understands who owns a business, who has ever tried to start anything, the real problem is getting it started in the first place, having the working capital, making that next step, that next investment. That's why we're asking for your help. That's why we're trying to make offers and supporting the people who have supported us through the years. As you support your health through the products that we sell, we have offered discounts off of things that are on our site. As I mentioned, 30% off until 10 p.m. on Super Male Vitality. We also have 30% off of Survival Shield X2, 20% off of Brain Force or Silver, Silver Bullet, 15% off Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, that's our B12 formulation, and Oxy Powder. Or you can just make a flat out contribution. That would be very helpful. We would really appreciate that if you're able to do that to get our information, the information that the public desperately needs to hear, something that is different than what you're seeing in this coverage. We are doing analysis and we're doing commentary, not only on what the presidential candidates are saying in the so-called debate, but also on the media's coverage, their presentation of this and the way they obscure any real discussion. That's why we're here, that's why we're commenting on this. And that's the purpose of InfoWars, to get you an alternative view, to get the real information to you, to tell you the truth. That's what we've been here for, that's what Alex Jones has been doing for 20 years, that is the basis of what we do. Again, if you can help us, that number is 888-253-3139. Very good. Uh, Joe Biggs, are you at the Twitter wall? Yeah, we have a lot of people asking us right now, how do we get to the media package? So if the guys in the back could bring it up on yes. the, uh, the screen, navigate there so people can understand how they can find that. And that way they can help support the info war as well in that manner. So guys, I'll, I'll just talk you through it as you pull it up. You go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb. And if you scroll down, I think it's to the middle, middle of the page. There is a little tab there where you can click on the media packet. You can download it. It's, a, I believe, a PDF. You can print it out. You can take it to your local station. You can email it. I would suggest you go there in person so you can make sure that they get it. But uh, drop it off and give them the post personal note. Say, hey, you know, I'd really appreciate if you guys uh, put this on your programming. Like I said, it's free to air, whether it's a radio station or it's a, a TV station. If radio station, hey, pick up the Alex Jones Show. So go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. Scroll down. You'll see it about the minimal, middle of the page. Click on that, download it, and uh, take it to the proper channel. And again, also, that's something that everybody can do. It doesn't cost you any money if you don't have, if you're not able to uh, support us financially. You can support us through social media. You can support us by downloading that package, as Jakari just pointed out, taking it to or sending it to your uh, local television station. It is free to air. They can run their own commercials as part of that. We'll run some commercials on it to help cover our costs once we get this infrastructure established. They will have some. Uh, time that they can run their own commercials. So it is no cost at all to them. They only need to know that there are people that are interested in watching it. So they can sell their own advertisement as a portion of that hour. So if they understand that there's a demand for it, they will cover it. So that's one. That's a very important way that you can help us through this entire process. I have a question. I'm curious as to how a lot of feminists out there that when I, when I go in public and I wear my Hillary for Prison t-shirt, 2016, InfoWars, Legalized Freedom, when I go out in public and I wear that, a lot of feminists approach me and go, oh, how dare you? How could you not vote for Hillary? I'm a feminist. Of course, I'm going to vote for Hillary Clinton. When the Clinton Foundation takes money from Arab nations to treat women like dogs, who don't allow them to get jobs, who stone them, who, who treat them like animals, what do you think about that, Leanne? as a female, that <laughs> these feminists can kind of like, they're, they're trying to just almost, well, she's a woman, you know, so I guess I have to vote for and completely ignoring what a feminist should be, I guess. Yeah, well, and completely ignoring the fact that, you know, just the other day, there was a feminist group that went and protested topless at a, an Islamic meeting. And this <laughs> meeting was about whether or not uh, men should beat their wives. <laughs> And How's that for irony? <laughs> yeah. That, so that's, that's not too smart when you do it. They're talking about where they should beat their wives. You're yeah. a total stranger, and you're going to go up and strip off on stage and scream slogans and at them. Yeah, and you're topless. So obviously you're you're offending the, this group there by being topless. Uh, so then they tackle the women and kick these women. At least one of them was being kicked and ripped off stage and everything. But you didn't really hear about that. Normally that would be sensational. Here's this feminist group. You know, they would want to broadcast that, but of course they can't do that because then that would be Islamic, Islamic phobia. And, um, but you I think if that happened with Pat Robertson on the PPL <laughs> club, 
if they'd had some topless protesters and Pat yeah. knocked them down the ground and started kicking them. I think that'd be pretty widely covered. Yeah, nobody wants to. Should, should we beat our wives? I don't oh, know. We're back to the debate. Let's go back. Marijuana question. Well, I think it's interesting right now. A lot of people on Twitter are curious as to whether or not President Obama will be the first third term president. A lot of people think that the reason that these primaries have been such a Hey, hang on, Joe. Let's let's hear what uh, what's going on about this question about marijuana. This is a different kind of question. Let's hear this. It's really damaged our inner cities. Not only do the drugs TV damage them, we damage them again by incarcerating them and then preventing them from getting employment over time. So I don't think that the federal government should override the states. I believe in the Tenth Amendment, and I really will say that the states are left to themselves. I want to give that. Now they're going to go to Chrissy, I guarantee you. That you call the hypocrite uh, an opportunity to respond. Do you want to identify that person? Well, I think if we left it open, we could see how many people smoked pot in high school. <laughs> <laughs> is there somebody you were specifically thinking of? Well, you know, the thing is... He was is talking that, about me. Yeah, I was talking That's about... That's what I thought, so, but well, I wanted let, let me, to say it. Uh, I wanted to point. make let it me. easier for him. Yeah. Okay. And I just did. Governor Bush, please. So 40 years ago, I smoked marijuana. Uh, and I admit it. I'm sure that other people might have done it. <laughs> now, this is the true confessions of part of the reality TV people. show. My mom's not happy that I just did. <laughs> That's true. But here's the deal. He should have lost his right to vote. He should have been he put in jail for 20 years. At least he didn't lie and say he didn't inhale. Drugs that goes way beyond marijuana. What goes on in Colorado, as far as I'm concerned, that should be a state decision. But if you look at the problem of drugs in this, in this society today, it's a serious problem. Rand, you know this because you're campaigning in New Hampshire with like all of us, drugs and you see the exacerbated it. heroin, the overdoses of heroin that's taking place. People's families are yes, are coming from Afghanistan. Yeah, which, which is yeah. why we're <laughs> protecting, protecting it. Who's cultivating cultivating it. guarding those opium fields? Right. Yeah, that no vacuum there except in uh, some noses and yeah. uh, 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 hypodermic needles, right? Yeah. <clears throat> drug courts to give people a second chance. That's the best way to do this. But let, let me respond. The thing is, is that in Florida, Governor Bush. Bush campaigned against medical marijuana. That means that a small child like Morgan Hintz that has 500 seizures a day is failing on nine traditional medications, is not allowed to use cannabis oil, and that if they attempt to do that in Florida, they will take the child away, they will put the parents in jail. Yes. And that's what that means. If you're against allowing people to use medical marijuana, you'll actually put them in jail. Right, and actually, under the current circumstances, kids who that's, had privilege that's like a lie, Jim. Don't go to jail, but the poor kids in our inner, lying, inner cities go to jail. I don't think that's fair, and I think that we need to acknowledge it, and it is hypocritical to still want to put poor people in jail. I don't want to put and, poor and, people in jail, Rand well, and Mike. Vote, you, here's you, the deal. You, you oppose you put yeah, more you people in jail. In jail. Yeah. When the legislature passed the bill to deal with that very yeah, issue. more people in jail than China does. We've, they've got four times the population, five times the population. Many people under mandatory minimum. Right. Not his daughter. Yeah, not his daughter, not him. But Let's, that means no. you'll put people Let's in jail. Not, so you'll put right sick right people right in jail, right but of course, right when he uses it recreationally, it has no consequences. That's true. Go ahead, Christine, I mean, please. You know, I, I enjoyed the interplay. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I just say this. I'm the prosecutor. You know, first <laughs> off, New I want to put everybody in jail. Is the first state in the nation that now says if you are a non oh, non-dealing drug user, that you don't go to jail for your first offense. You go to mandatory treatment. You see, I think we Jake, ought to I'm put mandatory treatment for people over eat. You need to be pro-life <laughs> for more than just the time in the womb. It's, 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 it gets a lot tougher. It's, when it's they not get his fault. He doesn't have any control. It's the spoon's fault. The, the spoon right. and fork force its that way into his mouth. <laughs> and we should jail he the is now, He is now a result <laughs> of <laughs> having, you know, these dangerous spoons and forks coming out. I think we should ban spoons and forks so we can stop obesity because it's not about self-control. That's right. What about chopsticks and straws, though? Mm. Uh, I need my sushi. <laughs> we should jail the farmers who grew the food for uh, for Chris Christie as well. Oh, you know they Except wanna... I think he got Twinkies. Yeah, yeah, I mean, think he ate uh, a jelly somewhere. if you transport the raw milk across state lines. So That's right. They're already halfway yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, you may respond and then I'll bring in you, Ms. Fiorina. People ask him how he's going to shut down uh, from Subway. Well, and the point is, you don't have to smoke marijuana. And the way that they're using it now in pills and things like that, it's not a gateway drug. It's... It's just, would go into I get so frustrated with that. If you're breaking any federal law on marijuana, even though the state law allows it, he would put you in jail. Yes. If right. a young mother is trying to give her child cannabis oil for medical marijuana for seizure treatment, he would put her in jail if it violates federal law. I would let Colorado do what the 10th Amendment He can shake said. his head no, but that's this exactly, we Rand exactly Paul is exactly said. right for. He said it out of his own mouth. Yep. 
Crime was supposed to be left to the states. Colorado's made their decision, and I don't want the federal government interfering and exactly. putting moms in jail who are simply trying to get medicine for their kids. And, and Senator Paul, right? Knows and we've had plenty of families moving perfect. to Colorado. In New Jersey, but. We have medical marijuana. Rand Paul's not perfect, but man, he is nailing it in this, this issue. Is not medical marijuana. He's this nailing it. Much further step beyond. This is recreational use of marijuana. This is much different. And so, while he'd like to use a sympathetic story to to back up his point, it doesn't work. I'm not against medical marijuana. We do it in New Jersey. But I am against the recreational use of marijuana. If he wants to change the federal Why? law, get Congress to How about the recreational use of Twinkies? And get a president to sign. Yeah, just think about all the Going marijuana edibles binge. that you're denying yourself, <laughs> Christy. It's not your decision. There's nothing in the Constitution that allows you to do it, Christy. Contradicts the federal Where's your law? prohibition He's amendment? He's saying he will send the federal government in and he will enforce right. the federal law. That's not consistent with the 10th Amendment. It's not consistent with states' rights. And it's not consistent with a conservative vision for the country. I don't think we not should be sending the, the federal police in to arrest a mother and separate them from their child for giving a medicine to their child for and, seizures. And Jake, I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. It's been done over and over again, Christy, by I people like you. I hope that I am the only person on this stage who can say this. But I know there are millions of Americans out there who will say the same thing. My husband Frank and I buried a child to drug addiction. Oh my God! So yeah. how's that yeah. to do with marijuana? Invest more. In yeah. yeah. What kind of drug? Overdose of marijuana or what? I don't know. I agree with states' rights, but we are misleading young people when we tell them that marijuana is just like having a beer. It's not. And the marijuana okay. that kids are. Okay. Let me let me chime in here. Sense. How many people have buried a child or a family member or a parent because of the war on drugs? Because police, SWAT team, killed them. Mm -hmm. Innocent people, even people who were smoking something recreationally. Is that, should that be a death sentence in America? Right. And we need to understand that this war on drugs came from a United Nations agenda, just like Agenda 21. They created an agenda in 1961, complete with four schedules. Schedule one drugs were drugs that said they had no medical use whatsoever. Marijuana, marijuana. was put into that. And the fact that they have medical marijuana exemptions Puts a lie to the fact that marijuana is still a Schedule One, but it goes worse than that. Worse than that, we have two constitutional amendments out of twenty something that are about prohibition. We had one that made alcohol prohibited alcohol. That didn't help anybody. We have people who are dying every year from alcohol overdoses. College students every fall will go to college, get away from their parents, and overdose on alcohol. We could tell sob stories about that. It's a very sad situation. But alcohol prohibition did not stop it, it made it worse. Right. And it was done though with a constitutional amendment because we used to have people that gave a flying whatever about the constitution. We don't have anybody like that anymore. They could care less what's in the constitution. Where's their constitutional amendment? The constitutional amendment with, with, with 10 and with nine, uh, those amendments say that the government doesn't have any powers that weren't directly given to them. We just had these guys quote that about certain issues, but not about the war on drugs, not about the UN's war on drugs. This is a UN agenda that these conservatives are pushing on you. It has killed millions of people in America and across the world. Far more than that, look at the war in, in Mexico. That is a war on drugs. You want to talk about all the violence coming across? Let's talk about the roots in the war on drugs. That war on drugs, these people have pushed from the UN has created the violence in Mexico. Tens of thousands of people have died there. More people have died there than in Afghanistan. You want to talk about these dangerous drug cartels coming across? They were created by our war on drugs. That's the truth of what's going on here. It's far worse than what they're talking about. Rand Paul did a great job with that. It's uh. great to see him lay that, that, uh, that down on uh, Jeb Bush and on Chris Christie. The privilege of Jeb Bush and the criminality of that prosecutor Chris Christie, that disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I the war on drugs has definitely yeah, he, destroyed he, a lot of families and, and their futures. He's almost worse than uh, Lindsey Graham. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, Chris Christie <laughs> is one of those guys, when, when I see him, it really upsets my stomach to, to close to the level of a Hillary Clinton or Lindsey Graham. Yeah, just absolutely. Just out of control. And the fact that Carly Fiorini is going to come in there and start bringing up how she lost someone due to addiction when it probably is something like heroin crack, cocaine, something like that.
It's not pot. They're diverting from it. It's a bait and switch. We're like, okay, look at this. We're talking about pot. Let me, let me go over here to this extreme thing that happened. It yes. takes away from the focus about the positive uses for marijuana. The reason they don't want you to have it is because it works. Yeah. And they don't want you to have something that you can grow in your backyard that can help you or your child. Yeah, just and has so many different talking. uses. And meanwhile, the opium is like one of the number one ingredients in most of the pharmaceutical drugs that